What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Apple Keynote tutorial. Now, if you like these tutorials, if you want to get the latest episodes of the podcast, or even keynotes whenever those come out and get posted, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Now today, what we want to talk about is actually working with layers in Keynote. And layers is a concept that if you work in any design application, you're used to using it all the time. And the reason why it's so great is because it lets you work with really complicated designs, things that are sitting on top of each other. You need to be able to figure out where they are and how do you work with them. It makes it really easy. Now, this is another one of those things where Keynote actually has this. Most people don't know about it. Most people don't know where to find it. But as soon as you know, it's going to make a huge difference in the sort of work that you're able to do and how easily you're able to be able to get it done. Now, this is a deck that I present quite a bit. It's called Herding Pink Elephants. It's the evolution. If you've ever seen my talk exist loudly, this is sort of what it's evolved and grown into. Now, this is, as you can see, make that a little bit bigger. Like You can see this is a fairly sizable deck, right? There's a lot of content in here, a lot of slides, and there's a lot going on. So for a 40-minute talk, there is 145 slides. With my decks, the amount of slides you have never dictates how long it's actually going to take. But with some of these, they get really complicated. There's a lot of different elements in here. Now, this is a graph we've talked about in a couple different videos, but let's look at this. Now, whenever you want to come in and work with this, there's a lot going on. We have text, we have dots, more text. I have colors back here in the back. I have a mask. I have all sorts of things that are going on, and it's really easy to get confused about where these things are. So what I want to be able to do is to figure out what are, where are these things? What all is going on? This especially becomes important for me whenever I go back to work with old decks because with some of these things, I'll actually hide transparent objects on top of things. I'll do all this little stuff that, of course, you forget over time. Now, the layers palette in Keynote is called the object list. And again, unless you click on it, you wouldn't know what this is. But here under view, you want to come down to show object list. And whenever you do that, all of a sudden, this flyout appears over here on the side. And what this allows you to do is now work with the layers the way you would at any other time. So you can go in, double click on them. I can name them. So this would be the subhead. I can go in and say, okay, well this, where's that 15? I wanna reposition that a little bit. So let me just be able to select that. I can select multiple different things. I can lock the layers or see which ones are locked. So in this case, that's the mask. So that is locked, which is why it has the little X's up here at the top and bottom. So again, I can go up here and I have a lock and unlock set up in my customizer, or I can do it here. It makes it a little bit easier and you can save room up at the top. But this is the nice thing is that again, if there are grouped objects so that I can see what these individual ones are made up of so that you can see that these bars are two circles and a rectangle, all of this stuff that's going on now is really easy for me to remember, see how it's grouped. Again, if I'm doing a magic move animation and I can't remember if is it grouped in one slide and ungrouped in another, easy way to be able to do that. But this is the secret to being able to do this. So whenever I work, this is the way I always have it set up. I have the slides that are run down here on the left-hand side, and then I have this in next to it because for just the complexity of my work, this makes it so much easier. And so again, whenever you know that that's there, view, object list, that's going to be the thing that's going to make the difference so that you can go through and be able to see on all of these. And you can see some of these get a little bit nuts, how much easier it's going to make you to be able to work with these so that you can add in consistent animations. You can add in consistent effects and just make your life that much more sane. So like I said, it was just that simple, just that easy. Hopefully that was quick and informative and gave you a little bit of insight because again, it's just one of those things that once you know it, once you see it, it makes such a difference and it makes working inside the application so much easier. But that way, hopefully you know about it. You're going to be able to make it part of your workflow to be make it a little bit faster, a little bit better when you're doing things. Hopefully you learned a little bit something along the way. If you did, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. So go out, make some better work. And as always, stay crazy.